Hello, this is Carla Marie, and I am here to talk about our fun schooling um, theme days. I've had a lot of questions on social media and on uh, YouTube about our theme days, and um, I've had questions everywhere from are you unschoolers anymore? Or are you child ed learners anymore? What are you doing? Are you using a curriculum? What's happening? So I'm here to share with you what it is that we're doing, how we're doing it, and how our um, homeschool I guess you could call has transitioned uh, over the past couple months yes we are still very passionate if not more than ever before about child-led learning and interest-led learning um, what some would call unschooling but others would not it's just whatever you decide to call yourself just enjoy the journey and um, do your best to learn with your children and grow and see them flourish so i'm here to talk about our fun schooling routine or theme days that i've been posting a lot about on uh instagram and facebook i mentioned them in one of my last videos and so i wanted to explain in more detail what we do how we do it um what they entail and give you a few examples of um of the things that we do during that time now <laughs> No, we are not using any type of curriculum or any specific um, resource. I pull together resources for each of these days individually from any number of, uh, of places and um, things on the internet or the library or whatever you call it, just like you guys do. We all do <laughs> a lot of the same things, but I wanted to share how we do it and how we feel it has taught totally transformed our homeschool and benefited us as a whole as a family. So we do theme days uh, for all five weekdays. Um, we are year-round child-led learners. So we don't um, ascribe to a school week or school times or time of year or anything like that. We are learning all day, every day, 365, unless we're sleeping, of course. <laughs> And um, as a result of that, we are getting really, really great results. And basically, we just like learning being a part of our life, not something that we turn on and off, but something that is always happening, something that we're always pursuing and exploring as a family. So um, I just wanted to say that as far as these theme days are concerned, I would say maybe about an hour, hour and a half tops in the mornings we spend on the actual themes and the themes come from things that I have seen my kids pursue, questions they've asked, or things that I have seen them um, maybe struggle with or want to learn more about. And so I work that into a theme day and it allows us to explore those things, answer questions, um, so that when they are spending the bulk of their day um, on interest-led learning, child-led learning, um, that they have those resources to pull from and that bo that body of knowledge to pull from. So that's why I started doing it. We started doing it uh, about back in October. Um, and I didn't say much about it for a while because I wanted to see how it was going to work. And I like doing themes and the kids seem to like doing stuff like that um, every time that I've tried it in the past just randomly. And so I said, hey, let, why don't we make this part of our homeschool um, or something that we do regularly? And it has really taken off. The kids love it. I love it. Dad loves it. Um, but outside of that, I would say it is maybe 15% of their day. And I would say the remainder of their day is still... It's still uh, interest-led learning. And the exciting thing about this is that, um, and I'll share the individual theme days in a moment. But the exciting thing about these theme days is that the information that we go over or the projects that we do, and it is, it's very little of it is book focused. Most of it is hands-on projects, life application activities and so we're not sitting down doing a lot of book work or really any book work at all or any workbooks or anything like that every theme um, we approach it from a hands-on life application standpoint 
And then what's exciting about that is to see the kids then take all of that information that they're learning um, through those that literally that hour, hour and a half in the morning and apply that to the things that they are pursuing themselves. So that's what I love so much. It's almost like strewing new information and, um, and activities and then they take off. Sometimes you'll find a kid that wants to spend the rest of the day on that topic or the rest of the day doing something regarding that. Um, and you have some kids that could take or leave certain things and that's fine too. That's what strewing is all about. It's non-coercive, non-forceful uh, exposure to new information and new um, learning experiences. So some take, some don't and that's fine. I have no problem with that. We all are wired differently. We all have different passions. So, But I will share with you what that's like but I wanted to make sure you kind of knew how it worked. We have about 15%, like I said, of our day, maybe an hour, hour and a half of our waking hours um, where we actually spend on a theme doing hands-on projects and activities on that topic. And then the rest of the day, they are free to uh, pursue their interest and in their um, the things that they're working on, projects that they are either starting or continuing, books that they're reading. Um, experiments or whatever it is that they're uh, that they're into at the moment and it is absolutely exciting to see them use the opportunity um, of these theme days to take that information and add it to their body of knowledge for what they're look what they're pursuing so let's talk about Monday Monday is math challenge Monday and so I will do another video as far as how the differences between what we do with our younger crew and what we do with our older two kids and that's a completely different video so I'm not going to get into that even though I know you guys are waiting for that but um, on math challenge Monday it is kind of different because my husband handles any level of math um, whether it be hands-on um, life application whatever it is junior high level to high school and he handles that. So he handles that on the weekend and in the evenings or he'll give them an assignment um, or something like that uh, as far as um, applying higher level math to life and things of that nature. So that's kind of how it works with the older two for Math Challenge Monday. Um, if perhaps we're doing a review of something that they need to review as well, then we will bring them into what we're doing. But Math Challenge Monday, can um, we have our entire year set up for our themes for Math Challenge Monday, and we're so excited about it. So we're going to be doing a few, to, to mention a few, right now we're doing uh, Math in the Kitchen. So four straight weeks, we're cooking and we're talking about measuring and serving sizes and uh, how to calculate... Um, uh, pounds and prices in the grocery store and all kinds of different measuring tools that we need to use and how we subconsciously use math in the kitchen all the time for every single meal. So I have them gathered around for every meal and I show them the different choices and decisions I have to make that are math and number related every single day so that they kind of make that connection that math is used in everyday life. So that's how we do it with math, um, life application math. So um, one of the things that we've done, again, Math in the Kitchen, uh, we have coming up uh, music and math, we have art and math, we have um, architecture and math, we have math in the body. So there's, a, I mean, math is everywhere, it's all around us. And so this entire year, every month, we have a certain uh, aspect of life that we are applying math to. So that they can see how math is everywhere and they have the ability to use it and that it can be fun. It doesn't have to be drudgery. Um, so we learn all of the things that we most people would learn by doing a page in a workbook. We learn it hands on and how it applies to every single area of our life. So that's how our Math Challenge Mondays go. Um, and I'm going to show you a few examples of our Math Challenge Mondays uh, in these clips right here.
So as you can see in some of the examples that we have different, there's so many different ways that you can apply math to everyday life without actually using a workbook or a curriculum or whatever you want to call it, classes. Um, and that's how we do it. Um, we do it through our, uh, our theme days. And is this the only time during the week that my kids do math? Absolutely not. What happens is it, this, the theme days expose them to the concept and then you find them doing projects and activities and getting involved in things where they have to use those concepts. And then you have the opportunity to step in once again and reinforce those concepts all over again. And so, no, throughout the week, they are using every single topic you can think of. But it's the theme day that solidifies that information. Um, and then they go about doing their other activities and I'm able to pop in and pop out and add resources and answer questions and make sure that they quite they understand the concept but it's something that they're doing and something that they're pursuing and they're learning how to um, apply those concepts to what it is that they're doing so I hope that was helpful we're going to have another video for every single theme day so that it would be short and sweet for you and you'll be able to kind of digest each theme day separately so thank you for watching